And new tonight, a single mom from Kent wants answers after a vandal spray painted hateful messages on her car as it sat parked outside her apartment complex. That comes Steve McCarron reports on the damage left behind and worst of all, the unfortunate timing. And we do have a warning. Some of the images you're about to see might be disturbing. So this is my car that was vandalized. Lavetta Pratt doesn't know why. It's spray paint. Her car was picked. And this one here is on the hood. Not one swastika, and but three spray painted in green on three sides of her 1994 Honda. Her windows took me a minute, but it says learn how to drive. Were hit too. When I noticed the swastikas, that's the part that it was just like, whoa. It hit me that it was, not that it was personal, but it felt personal because I'm a minority. Lavetta noticed it on her way to work early Friday morning. It hurts. She uses this as a second car and has had it parked in the same spot for two months. And I just thought it was awfully ballsy of somebody to do this when the sheriff has been parked next to me for days. A couple of friends have already offered some home remedies to try to remove what the vandal or vandals left behind. From the looks of it, they kind of leaned, you you know, this way. As a single mom of three kids, she was just getting ready to sell the car this weekend to earn some extra money for the holidays. Now that plan has been pushed back. Just another hurdle. As she searches for answers about who was responsible. Stuff like this is going to continue to keep happening if nobody does anything about it or doesn't bring the issue to light that this is constantly happening no matter where it is around the globe. Steve McCarran, Come on News. Now, Lametta says this is the first problem she's had in that neighborhood that she's lived for the past five years. She did file a police report and says she was told to call 911 if she sees anything suspicious. Redmond police trying to track down the vandal who hit this sign at the Muslim Association of Puget Sound. Police believe a young white man in dark clothing damaged a sign around midnight Friday night. It's the second time the sign's been damaged in just the last few weeks. Investigators are now looking into both incidents as hate crimes.